Well, good afternoon. I'm in the uncomfortable position being between you and a coffee break. Um, I'll try to make it worth your time. So my name is Christine Rombaut. I studied engineering sciences at this university. I work for Evio Society. Um, we're a science educator based here at iMac, um, where they make all these fancy electronic uh, devices. Um, at the RVO Society, we try to motivate young people, children and young people, for science and technology. And we do that um, by focusing on uh, real experiences, so not theory, but real experiences. And our other point of view is, al is always that science and technology have a huge potential in society, in societal challenges. So if I have to summarize my organization, that's about it. Um, Stephanie is not here today, Stephanie de Smet, but she'll join us tomorrow. And Stephanie is uh, from CERA. CERA is a corporation and they call themselves uh, both a financial and societal invest investment company. So they truly invest in social programs. And one of the programs that we have been doing together for a long, long time is the CERA Award program. Um, what is the CERA Award program? It's a program that tries to stimulate technological innovation in the social domain. And how do we do that? We prompt the organizations in the social domain twice a year for real needs, real challenges they see in their organizations for their target groups. And then we will try to find students uh, who will challenge this project. It can be any kind of project. Um, I could spend hours talking very enthusiastically about it. Uh, I won't do that. I'll just mention um, perhaps three. Um, this one over here, uh, well, the, the picture below, the, the little boy in the wheelchair. Uh, it's a boy with cerebral palsy um, who has to control his wheelchair with the contacts in his head support. But for this type of children, there's very little toys. And so the ergo therapist of this institution said, well, why don't we make toys uh, with remote controls adapted so they can control it with the, uh, with the head support. Um, another project I can't, I just can't pass on since I see one of the students here in, in the uh, room is a very nice project invented uh, where the, 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 inspir well, the, the person who was the source of inspiration is Jan de Kelver. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a tool, it's, it's, a, it's an application that gives uh, uh, people with intellectual disabilities, much more freedom, much more possibilities, much more autonomy. What does it do? It's a smartphone application that basically tracks where this person is. And if he goes from, uh, uh, from the, the agreed trajectory, the, the coach will receive a message. And um, <laughs> I kindly forward you to Danny, who worked on this project last year, who will be very happy to tell you about it more. And then the third uh, project, I won't have to talk about it, because Amalia and Francesca will do so later. <laughs> so what is very specific about, about this project is that it's a demand-driven innovation. I think as engineers, we're often focused on what is the potential of technology, and we, we're rather oriented technology push. But we start here all, always from the real need formulated by an organization. That, had also, that also has its limits, but I'll come to that later. The program is called CERA Awards, uh, because it's also an award. <laughs> you might recognize some people in the room on the picture. Um, it's also an award because we strongly uh, encourage the students to go to their, to their users, to, to, to engage with their users. As engineers, we have a strong tendency to consider ourselves experts. Um, but you in order to, these, to do these types of challenges in a good way, 
you have to interact with, their u with your users. And as an engineering s student, that is not straightforward. It's clearly out of your comfort zone. And to do this good, you have to work on, you have, well, you, you go further, you go a mile further in your social skills, in your communicative skills, in your creative skills, and very often in their personal engagement. And that's where, why we want to reward the students, uh, and that's why it's an award. It's, it's not money, it's, it's a small statue, but it's also the recognition, and we say it's a plus on their, on their CV. Um, SEDA Award is a partnership, and actually we received for this partnership an award ourselves called the Sustainable Partnership Award. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> but um, what we always say is uh, this type of projects, you can't do this on your own. And this, these organizations in the social domain, they do not come in engineering faculty, so you need uh, you need rep representants uh, to, to promote your call for projects. So you see uh, on this picture, you see uh, under Verso, that Verso is the umbrella organization of organizations in the social domain uh, in, in Belgium, who we strongly co uh, collaborate with. We're also not associated to one educational institution. We work with all technical education institutions who would like to work with us. Um, but we specifically here uh, uh, invited the, the Jan and Inge from KU Leuven and Thomas More to share uh, this award with us because um, they made the initiative, they, they did the initiative to start the community service engineering program and um, which we were very, very happy about. And um, as a result, we also participated in the, in the European project on community service engineering. Um, so that was, was, a, was a very nice thing. Um, just like this already, a few lessons learned, I come back to this. Um, it's like technology for social domain is growing. Uh, I often say we are now where ecology technology is like 15, 20 years ago, and that's really a feeling we have in all educational institutions. There's, there's time and attention for this team, and a driving force, obviously, is aging society. Um, if you want to run programs like this, you have to share your shareholders are so important you need them all you need the social profit organizations you need dedicated teachers you need the students so it's it's uh, it's it's so important mm. as i told you we are an, an uh, uh, we are a science educator and we realize that the potential of education of these types of programs, you all know the story, there are not enough engineers, there are not enough uh, computer scientists, there are specifically not enough girls who study engineering and computer science. But what we always hear from the students is how motivational it is to do these type of, of projects. And um, what we have decided is the SERA Award program is very strong, but in order to motivate and to engage students to go for technical higher education, we're a bit late. Eh? So we're trying to translate this program into secondary education. That's what we'll be doing in the, f in the, in the next years. We also learned very much uh, how powerful interdisciplinary is. It's, 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 if you put, uh, I've seen it happen so many times, you put, you put somebody from, from an elderly care home together with, with a computer scientist and, and, and the interactions when they present their research, research and no, I'm not interested in that, but can you do that? And just, um, well, it's, and it's also in education, I think that's the way to go. Uh, but I do realize it's, it's hard work, it's not easy to organize. And then uh, a, sm uh, a last one, um, we try to uh, 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 mot uh, uh, stimulate technological innovation, but these are students. And like any other student project, when the students are gone, what happens? That's, that's tough. And um, so the road to economic valorization is difficult. It's always difficult. It's, it's, it's difficult in every challenge, but it's ev in every project. But here it's even 
often more challenging um, because, well, there are usually easier markets if you want to be an entrepreneur. So we, it's something we will have to think about how we, how we work on this. I told you previously uh, we participated in the, in the lifelong learning project on communi community service engineering. And uh, we were work packet leader there on uh, how to stimulate uh, the social profit sector. Now, it's a story <laughs> I've told a few times before, uh, but it's um, we, in the beginning, we had some language misunderstandings because uh, I remember from our colleagues from Sweden in a conversation, we were talking, we don't have a s social profit sector. I go, how so you don't have a social profit sector? Sweden is so well known for their strong uh, social uh, network. And it came that what, the, what uh, Mariella in this case understood was, for us in Flanders, social profit means profit is not financial, it's social. Uh, but as uh, they understood, it was the profit. It was a social sector which worked for profits. So, <laughs> um, so uh, this uh, introduction to tell you that we felt like we needed a definition, and uh, and we switched to organizations in the social domain. Uh, and then you think it's solved, but it's not really that solved either. Because um, would you consider great for profit? Eh? So an organization in the social domain? Um, would you consider uh, the sheltered, works play, uh, sheltered workplace cars are cool where they make all kinds of diesel filters, an organization in the social domain? Um, we came... Uh, ah, my slide on the definition is gone, so... Uh, we came up with a definition, you'll have to believe me like that, which has... Uh, two parts. We consider an organization in the social domain uh, uh, such an organization if either the mission is social or societal, meaning the product or outcomes are social, uh, or, their, um, or their production process is social or societal. For instance, giving uh, employment for people to the long with long distance to the, to the uh, work market are hard and the second aspect which we considered equally important is that these organizations attribute equal value to people profit and planet so they're not mainly stock market listed all right i'll have to go on um we uh i am we had a lot of projects in 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 the last years approximately well 40 per year and I've been analyzing many of them manually according to uh, a few uh, criteria. One is, is this a user and user oriented project, meaning it contributes directly to the quality of life uh, of people? Or is this rather a, tech, uh, a project which, um, which uh, empowers the organization itself to become more performant, to give a better support? And um, if you look at the numbers in 2005, so the, the blue is rather end user oriented and the brown is uh, 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 organization empowerment, we had a majority of organization empowerment projects. Uh, this switched uh, to uh, end user oriented projects in the last years. But that is also because uh, we, st we strongly, as I said, it's an award. So this project has to give the, the possibility to the students to obtain this, uh, these competences, these social, creative, communicative competences. And if you have to recalculate the heating installation of a big hospital, you probably won't be, be challenged on these issues. Another thing very clear here is that we have many, many ICT requests. Now, that is, I'm not saying social prof organizations in the social domain uh, have only ICT requests. What this means is that if you ask them formulate the real technological needs, they will refer to, to ICT. And if you, uh, when, when looking over time into these projects, um, you see that in the beginning we had many requests 
for websites or for time registration tools. And today, virtually all these requests are apps. So people refer to what they know. Um, and because of that, and because of we, uh, what you also saw probably in, in the previous slide, is that there are many engineering disciplines that have a very little projects. And we strongly feel that we should spend more time, more effort in communicating today what is possible in, in, in technology today, to show the possibilities of the Internet of Things, perhaps in helping people orient them in, in, in space, or, uh, in public space, or uh, there, we, and that's something we will work at. You can only uh, refer to what you know and we we see in 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 in, in organizations in the social domain that they all always refer to their smartphone or today and websites previously um, briefly briefly um, if you look at the sectors we receive projects at it's mainly a sector of uh, people